I just slept in the bed that William and Kate slept in when they stayed here. <laughs> this might be the best day I have ever had anywhere. Hey bookworms, you will not believe what just happened. I mean, I, I still can't quite believe it. So we arrived here two nights ago at the Dalby by the Sea Hotel, which is famous for being used as a backdrop for the White Sands Hotel in the 1985 Anne of Green Gables made for TV series. And we came to check in and we got to the desk and they said, do you want a free upgrade? We said, yeah, okay, why not? And he said, we're gonna put you in the honeymoon suite that William and Kate stayed in when they came to visit. We just spent two nights sleeping in the same bed that the Duke and Duchess, William and Kate, slept in when they came here. It was the best. And then we ate like extravagantly because the restaurant is amazing. We just, I just, I don't have enough words to explain how amazing the last two nights were. Little did we know before we arrived that we would have an impromptu early honeymoon better than any that we could have planned ourselves. We arrived just at sunset and cocktail hour, which we spent enjoying our drinks on the lawn by the lake. Once the sun set, we went inside for dinner. Inside smelled pleasantly like wood smoke because of the giant fireplace. We devoured a mostly locally harvested dinner. And then digested in the library in front of a cozy fire. And eventually, we made our way up to the King's Suite for bed. And actually, funny enough, this was probably the exact best way to start this trip. After a wonderful two nights at the Dalvey, we switched locations to a cute little Airbnb amid the rolling hills and farmland of PEI. And we spent the next week tooling along the red dirt roads, visiting bookstores and museums, golfing, and wedding planning. So we were driving and happened upon one of the bookstores on the island that I read about. And so I had to stop in because I was looking for two books. I was looking for Ella Montgomery's The Blue Castle and The Story Girl. And I found them. I mean, of course, they're going to be selling Ella Montgomery's books. So I'm excited because uh, I haven't read anything besides the Anne books by Ella Montgomery yet. So it's time to start looking into her other books. Hi, bookworms. I have been having so much fun this week that I kind of forgot to vlog about it. So I'm in Prince Edward Island this week and I'm here for a very special reason. I'm venue touring for my wedding next summer. So I thought that this would be a good place to start. I'm at the Anne of Green Gables Museum and it's the home of the author Ella Montgomery's Campbell Cousins. She spent a lot of time here with them and she actually wrote Pat of Silverbush about this place. This museum, this house is in an area called Silverbush. And inside the museum is a certain blue chest and items that show up in the Story Girl, which is kind of based on true events. 
And there's also actually artifacts from Emily of New Moon in the museum. But most importantly, Ella Montgomery herself got married in the living room of this house. So they actually do host weddings and you can have your wedding in the living room. But you could also have it out here on the lawn and this is an amazing lawn overlooking the lake that turned into Anne's Lake of Shining Waters in Anne of Green Gables. So I'm actually not going to use this as a location because while the lawn is amazing, I do think that using the living room as a rain location because I do want an outside wedding, even the living room's a little bit small and I do want a small wedding, but that's a little too small for even me. So I'm just gonna enjoy the Anne Museum today and then go look at a few other locations. So, let's go. This museum also runs carriage rides and the drivers dress like Matthew from Anne of Green Gables. And of course we couldn't come here without stopping at Green Gables again. I love that Green Gables feels like the book characters just stepped out for a moment. Here you can see Matthew's room and Anne's with her puff sleeve dress. I was also excited to see the giant new visitor center and exhibit space that has been built since I last visited. After we visited the visitor center and Green Gables house, we took the trail labeled Haunted Woods for Anne's Haunted Woods Trail and that took us to the graveyard where Ella Montgomery is buried. After overloading on Anne, we took a break to enjoy another common PEI activity, golfing. Hey bookworms! So I've been staying in this super cute little Airbnb in the middle of rolling hills and farmland all week. And I love it, I love this view. And I can't wait to come back next year. So. While I've been here, I've been working with a wedding planner and I got to tour three different wedding venues. One was a beautifully renovated rustic barn. And another one was a church that has that was turned into an Airbnb that is now being turned into an event space. And the third one was a newly renovated restaurant. They were all really nice, um, but I think I'm gonna go with the barn. It's in the New London area, which is where Ella Montgomery kind of grew up. And I love the rusticness. <laughs> and the other exciting thing I did was a professional photo shoot with a photographer. And we went to the Anne Museum and took a lot of cute photos. So it's been a busy but fun week. And unfortunately, it's time to go, but I can't wait to be back next year. So if you wanna see more photos, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Check out the blog. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you for the next literary adventure. Bye!